Hello and a very warm welcome. Big breaking news. The talented tall German is back on the F1 grid. He should have never been off the grid in the first place. But he is going to replace Sergio Perez. First of all, we wish Sergio Perez a speedy recovery. He is now in isolation. But Nico Hülkenberg is going to be back for two races. This is humongous breaking F1 news. Nico Hülkenberg dropped by Renault. Should have never been off the grid in the first place. He is back on the grid. He's going to do Silverstone and Silverstone because Perez has to stay in isolation for so long. And yeah, it's crazy. Just imagine, right, all them races, Hulkenberg on pole in the Williams, always the nearly man, never got a podium. He's got a humongous chance to get a podium. Imagine if he comes in and he actually gets a podium. And in his first career, it took he never actually got one. But the racing point is unbelievably quick. And theoretically, I do see it being on the podium at Silverstone. Uh, high speed, it will suit the pink Mercedes. But Hulkenberg, I mean, it's great to see him back. But of course, not the greatest of circumstances. Because that means Perez. I mean, it's going to kill Perez. I mean, he's... Literally done every F1 race since 2011. And now he's got to sit in his motorhome in isolation. And he'll be able to like hear the cars going round and round. But Hulkenberg, this is a huge chance for him to stake his claim. And give his like approach to other teams. Look, I'm Nico Hulkenberg. I'm still here. I should be on this grid. And it's a disgrace that I'm not on the grid. I did a rant about Nico Hulkenberg not being on the grid. I mean, he's easily better than half the grid, I mean. But I'm, I'm happy Nico Hulkenberg's back on the grid. It was rumoured Esteban Gutierrez was going to replace him. But it kind of makes sense for Nico Hulkenberg because Nico Hulkenberg, he's race ready, he's race fit, he's got experience. He was only in the car last year in Renault. So he's like been at least he's been active where Gutierrez has not been really active he's just been the reserve driver Van Dorn has got Formula E commitments but yeah it's going to be interesting to see how Nico Hulkenberg fares against Lance Stroll I mean it's going to be humiliation for Lance Stroll if Nico Hulkenberg comes in and beats him but it it's got that like love story just imagine right Nico Hulkenberg he did all them races. He never got a podium. He got close on a couple of occasions. Brazil 2012, 2019 Germany. Just imagine if he comes back, replaces Sergio Perez, and he actually gets the long-awaited podium. I mean, we're not going to put too much pressure on him because obviously these drivers on the grid, they've done three races. Hulkenberg's not done any races, so it might take him a while to get up to speed. But, I mean, he's... He's race ready, he's race fit. He was only racing last year in Formula 1, so I, I don't think it'll take him too long to get up to speed. So, breaking news, Nico Hülkenberg will replace Sergio Perez for the next two races. And we still say, we wish Sergio Perez a speedy recovery. But Nico Hülkenberg will be in that racing point for the next two races. Uh he will have to be COVID tested, Nico Hülkenberg. I'm sure we'll pass that with flying coolers. And now he's got to stay in the F1 bubble because, of course, he's going to race this weekend. He'll have to stay in the bubble at Silverstone and then he'll race next weekend. And then hopefully Perez is retested and he tests negative and he can come back for Spain. But that... Grand Prix could be in question because Spain's got a new spike. So, Nico Hülkenberg will replace Sergio Perez for the next two races. And we wish Sergio Perez a speedy recovery. It's going to hurt the Mexican, but safety comes first. Hülkenberg back on the F1 grid.